Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are going to look at reverse 3, which is an array 1 problem, and this is a Java solution. The problem states, given an array of ints length 3, return a new array with the elements in reverse order. So 1, 2, 3 becomes 3, 2, 1. And we can look at the other examples, 5, 11, 9, that's 9, 11, 5, 7, 0, 0 returns 0, 0, 7. So what we can see quickly is that that middle element is not moving, and we're swapping the first and last element. Now I'm going to talk about two different ways to do this. The first way is we're going to make a we're going to change the, the the array that's been passed in. So I'm going to make a variable called temp and I'm going to set it to nums at zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take nums at zero and set it equal to nums at two, which is that last element. And then nums at two is going to become temp, and I'll return nums. And if I hit go, there it is. So this is a really common common error, I guess, for new programmers, because they're thinking like a person. They'll often forget about this line. They'll just do this. And the problem with that is, oh, they'll do that, and then they'll say nums at zero. They'll just do that, because they're thinking like a person. Okay, I'll switch zero and two, and I'll switch two to zero. But the problem is that, remember, computers store a value, and what was there before disappears. So because of that, you have to store it in a temp variable. Now, one thing I do want to just caution about, and I always say this to my students who are new, new to programming, is it's not a big deal, but I really want them to be aware of the fact that they're modifying the parameter. Now, this is an array. An array is a reference variable. If you were using this function in a larger program, that could have implications. So you've got to be very cautious if you're going to manipulate or change a reference variable. And this isn't the place to get into what reference variables are. But... Um, I also want to do a second solution here where I actually create a new a new list or a new array, pardon me. So I'm going to make an int called nums1, an array of, and I'm going to say nums at 2, nums at 1, nums at 0. So all I've done is, is I've just created, I've just created a whole new array, which is does the same thing, but the difference is I haven't modified this parameter. Again, at this stage of development, not a big deal. But I just like to kind of float that idea out there to get you thinking. Um, if you're curious about learning more, learning more about this, take a look up reference variables. There's lots of really interesting things out there. But I hope that helped. Have a great day.